guys and gals, welcome to my channel, Cool there, and today I'm back with another episode of my FNAF tutorials, and we are in episode 4 of C, which should be the last episode of setting up the camera and everything, ready for the, the, uh, I forgot what it's called now, the animatronic movement, there we go, so, yeah, um, now, I need to work out how to speak English first, <coughs> right, what we're going to be doing here is, first things first, we're going to fix a few errors that I may have caused um, when I created this object here, which is our camera object, which has all the items on it. So, for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this camera object right here to the corner. Double click it to open it, and um, once it loads, there we go we get to this, scroll down to where your cameras are now this, this is the default camera, this is what you see when you get onto the camera when you start the game in the dining area, this is not what you see when you go into the camera when you start the game, what you see is this here and I've got this instead so yeah this is kind of terrible so what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to here and we're going to right click and click copy click here and then click paste there you go done simple but then we're missing out Bonnie and we have two of these so what we do is we move Freddy down to this area because it makes more sense we move this Chica down to where the original Freddy was so we have Freddy here, Chica here the same picture of Chica in this direction, so we just go for this picture of Chica, right click it, copy, click here, right click it, paste, and then we just do this until we have everything in the correct place. And then we go here, paste, so pretty much the only problem is, is we only have two versions of Bonnie. Uh, one version of Bonnie, two, uh, two versions of Chica, one version of Freddy. Now Freddy only has one version in this room. Chica has two and Bonnie has two but we have two of the same thing so this isn't gonna work is it? So what we do is we go to this uh, so this is our default room the one next to this which is this one we are going to go up to import and we're going to go to this one this is Bonnie our original first Bonnie picture that was here it's now here and now we have the default camera on the default direction so you may be confused on what I'm doing and why I'm doing this well the reason why I'm doing this is because my nose is itchy, no um, <laughs> uh, it's because this um, when we start up the camera it's always, we want it to start off with this default direction because we don't want it to be like oh we change a camera a different direction place because if that's the case we could end up with like say Bonnie is in the room you click on the camera button you won't see Bonnie's there you won't see him at all he won't be there because you've just changed the direction back to how it was we want it so that this default room is in the default direction which Click Team Fusion always goes to when it starts up the game and we want Bonnie to only appear if this is changed and because this won't change back unless Bonnie is not in the room or Cheek is not in the room or so forth because only one of them can be in this room at a time what it will do is it will just pretty much make it so that this can always override this without having any trouble so that's pretty much the gist so obviously we're going to get into um, the movement of the characters at a later date but well next episode which is 5 but that's going to probably go for a while as well um, so pretty much you de you always want the default camera where nobody's in it to be on this direction so same up here we've got it there Pirates Cove we've got it here and then we've got Foxy's different stages I have a feeling I... no, no I didn't mess it up, okay so yeah that's pretty much what you want then parts room, once again we've got Bonnie here instead of the default parts room which is here this should be over here so we just click, right click, copy, click on here, right click, paste go back to this direction, import and we go to where the 
folder we have in the parts room, which is here, and we go to this one, so P room N, so nobody's in it. Uh, no, that's the completely wrong one, I was meant to click Ronnie. Uh, I'm terrible. There we go, so we've got these two. Every time I show that thing up, it scares me. I don't know why. <laughs> He's just creepy. Um, right, and then obviously we've got Chica here. Chica's not supposed to be here in the camera first. Uh, okay, hello. Um, wait, this one. So this is the one that's supposed to be first. It's supposed to be here. So you just gotta do this. You just gotta get the empty room where nobody's in it on this direction always. No matter how many directional points you have, it always has to be on this direction. So, otherwise, the system won't work. There's no way of making it work properly. Oh, actually, no, there is. But this is a lot simpler because it removes a lot of unnecessary code we do not need. Um, so, we need to go back. Oh, God. Room. Uh, for some reason, I called this the bathroom, even though there's no bath in it whatsoever. But, you know me, I'm British. What do you expect? I cannot see which one Chica's in. I need to... Wait, actually no, it says she's right there. I'm bloody dumb, aren't I? Alright, there we go. Alright, see? Empty room there. So, I believe that is good for this room. I wasn't a dumbbell on this one. Yep, that's perfectly fine. We will have to edit that camera though. Uh, that camera's light though, because it's kind of a bit weird. This one is also perfectly fine. This one's fine. This one is not fine, because Chica, once again, is there and she shouldn't be. The blank room is here. Yeah, there it is. So we just got a copy, paste, and because Freddy is in this one we need to go copy, paste, there you go, Freddy's there. And then obviously we have Chica here, so we go copy, paste, and finally we go Chica in the rooms and it is the right hall in main and it's this one click open there you go okay there you go perfect now I'm more kitchen doesn't have anything Chica once again is in the completely wrong place where is the blank room that is not the blank room that's an Easter egg room sorry if you heard that no bike my windows open because it's hot in my room <laughs> uh, God, if only I had a fan. Alright, um, that goes here. Then obviously we have that room, we have to move Freddy over to here. And then Chica with animated stuff, which is only for night 5 and 6, up here, there we go. And then this one, we just have to pretty much go through and delete all the frames, because we've already got the original picture we had for Chica in the room normally. There we are. See? Chica, perfectly fine. So we've got this and all that other stuff. And that is literally all the rooms. Now what we have to do is something very important that is actually going to display the camera properly instead of how it would display it if you didn't do this. So obviously I'm going to show you it on this little simple thing right here. So what you want to do is when you're in whatever camera you are in, what you want to do is click on this little eyeball up here and it says view hotspot. And you'll see this pop up on the side and this little dot over here appear if you can actually see that. I don't know how good quality the videos are. But you'll see X and Y coordinates, this weird G and a load of, a grid of dots. Now what you want to do to make this work perfectly, you want to make sure all of the objects have the hotspot in the exact same place because this basically displays how you view the image so where it would how it would stick on the grid and everything like that which is uh, this thing here so the grid is that so it pretty much it would change how it displays on that so if you put it in the corner it I believe it will be hooked to like the edge of the grid instead of the center or whatever, I cannot remember. Um, I did it like literally yesterday and this fixes something that, that happened last episode. But pretty much with this, what you want to do is you want to click on this block over here. So the top left block with the dot in it on the hotspot function, you want to click on that and that's 
x0 and y0. It's quicker to do that than manually typing x and y0. So pretty much you've got that there and you'll be like, okay, what does that do? Well, if we press OK and I show you, you'll see that the, the thing has moved. So you can move it and it'll go back to there. See? Perfectly the same as normal, but obviously what would happen is if we ran the game and that we got that working, which it won't at the moment, this camera would display with that as the center point, meaning that um, this corner here would be the center point for the image. So you don't want that, you want the center point to be up here in the corner so it doesn't display half the image off the screen. So all you have to do is just go through all the images, every single direction, just clicking this dot up here in the top left corner of the grid and it will change it all to the same coordinate basically meaning that when you change the animation in what we're going to be doing next you'd end up with everything looking fluent, things looking beautiful and nothing really looking terrible hopefully but you just gotta do this going through every single direction, every single animation um, just doing this. Now to show you off an animation once we finished doing the dining area by going through every di uh, direction and doing this because you have to do this, Click Team Fusion doesn't have an alternate way of doing it but if we go to what room has... ah here's an animation so you see we've got two frames both these frames are different they both have their own individual hotspot which is something that could be cool if you needed to change the hotspot of points to make it so things were different. But you, we don't want that. We want them to be the same, so you just have to click on the frame 1 and click this, and it would have changed. But you go to frame 2, and you'll see it hasn't changed. And you can also see this image is raised higher than this one over here at the bottom. So you have to go through and click that. Basically meaning if you have a, f um, a foxy animation, um, like this one which should change but for some reason there you have to go through every single one of the frames to change it to be in the top right corner so I'm going to pause this and you can um, finish every all, doing all of this yourself by just um, making sure you're on the hotspot tool clicking on the top right corner for every single frame and every single direction individually and then I will get back to you once I've completed that myself so we save time on the video. See you in a minute. Right okay guys I'm back. Now one thing I forgot to completely say was that whenever you change um, and whenever you change the animation sequences on here so I'm not about this part here but I mean down here you go to kitchen oh, wait now let's say you start on right and you click this direction up here you go up to camera right, now because this camera has an option up here what will happen is when you selected the direction on here if the option for it is on this camera and it's actually able for you to use and has an image in it it will stay in that direction so you want to make sure that you've actually done the stuff before it if you didn't realize that you were here um, so yeah um, <laughs> But um, obviously that, that's something that happens unless you're on something like the kitchen you've got like no screen viewable whatsoever. But pretty much everything else has that top direction so you'd be going through with that direction there. So yeah if you didn't catch on to that that is something. Now I don't understand what this G does. I pressed it before and it did nothing at all. Um, so I don't quite understand what it's supposed to do but it did, I don't know. But um, yeah, we've done that now, so we don't have to worry about this anymore. I've gone through every single direction, every single animation, which is here, no, here, every single animation, putting the hot point up here, just by clicking this, so don't forget that. That's all you have to do, it's quite simple, just quite time consuming, but it's probably what most people have to do. I'm very unprofessional. I really wish I didn't have an itchy nose. It's really annoying. I mean, it's just one of those things that won't go away. Bloody stupid body. Um, right, anyway, so we've got that done. That will work now, but it won't show up. 
because what I did up here, which was this, this doesn't work. This is something that this function right here, the start frame function, cannot handle. It doesn't understand what it is, doesn't know what to do with it, so it just does nothing. But there is a way to fix this, so if we just delete that, and we go in the game controller, is something that we have which controls everything in the game, we need it, otherwise stuff won't work. Now I've just got to remember what layer it's on. It's, on. it's definitely not on that layer. Go away. Um, that is me getting rid of the layer. There we go, there it is. Double click it. No, don't double click it. That was stupid, that's opening textures. So click on it. Um, go to values and just add a new value and we're going to rename this to camera control and that's pretty much it that's that's the only function you're gonna need <sighs> hmm <clears throat> I'm sorry if I, you end up not hearing me that well like I blocked my hand my mouth or something but it's what happens and it gets really irritating when you have an itch it's just never gonna go away <laughs> Uh, but anyway, what we need to do is, so camera selection, uh, I believe that is, right, so what was the thing that I made again, because I completely forgot, I am so dumb, uh, it was, alpha values, set, camera control, that's it, okay, so you want to go up to the top, wait, in the start frame function, go up to the top, under the game controller, right click, add alterable value, set, go to camera control and make sure it stays at zero, that's the only way it's going to work, well actually I don't even think you need to do that but I just did it because it might not work, you never know, but you always want it so when the frame restarts each new game instead of being on the camera you had it last it will always start at zero, that's pretty much the gist of it. And then right click on the camera and go insert a new group of events and we are going to name this camera control no that is how you spell control I'm just really dumb right that is in the completely wrong place so if something like this ends up happening just drag the number down to this number where it says uh, no not down to it drag it to where it says camera no why won't you go in I'm so confused right now so if I drag you here, there we go, now I might have been accidentally dragging it onto this bit of the selection but you want to make sure you drag camera control down onto the number of selection and it should go in. If it doesn't you just have to keep dragging it around onto selection, it should work like I just did. So with the camera control this basically just involves adding all the numbers and what each number does. Now if we go back to here you will see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cameras. So I have 11 cameras, meaning we have 10, a maximum of 10 on the counter, which is kind of confusing, but the reason why is because 0 is 1, meaning 2 is 1, no, 0 is 1, meaning that 1 is 2, 2 is 3, 3 is 4, or 10 is basically 11 on the counter, because counters always start at 0, and that's pretty much the gist of it. So we have to go to camera control, right click here, and go to game controller, click on it, um, alterable value, and then compare to one of the alterable values, and we want this to be camera control equal to 0. And then you just drag that down 10 times, so that's 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, six, there we go, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think that should be the right amount. So just double click on this, change this to one, and then you just go down changing all the numbers and just leave the top one as zero because otherwise what we are going to do won't work correctly and it's just a lot simpler if we keep it as zero. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright, so all you have to do to that is double click on the number 
it opens up and then you get to change it to whatever number you want and you want to make sure it's on equal nothing else you want to make sure it's on camera control nothing else and you want to keep it like that that is literally all you have to do with this with this part of it anyway but then we go over to the camera button and this is literally just applying what cameras go to what so we obviously want camera zero to be the animation and we want to change the animation sequence wait no let me try that again because I didn't explain what I did so on the line zero of camera control right click go to animation go to change click on animation sequence I've gone onto the wrong thing I've went under something else ah, I went underneath one of the buttons so make sure you're underneath the cam up here it's kind of hard to differentiate sometimes but you just want to see if you've got that highlighted name at the top which I pointed out but it's not going to do anything because you couldn't even see my finger and plus it doesn't work <laughs> um, so right click animation change animation sequence and then we go stage that's what we want and then we just go right click on all of them downwards change animation sequence that is another motorbike outside brilliant um, then we go to dining area yes dining area is the next one right click again animation change sequence animation sequence parts cove pretty much this is in the order of the camera so 1a 1b 1c and then 2a 2b 3 4a 4b 5 6 and 7 that's pretty much it because for some reason the cameras are messed up and everything um, but yeah pretty much that's it so you right click here go to animation change animation sequence and we want to find this is 2a so we double click that left tool is 2a right click again animation change animation sequence to 2b which is left tool corner and then I believe if we go back here so no, 2a okay so the storage closet is camera 3 so in 5 we right click animation change animation sequence to storage room which is right here so yeah we go 1a 1b 1c 2a 2b 3 that's what we've got so far 6 once again is multiple values no that is completely the wrong one what was I doing right click animation <laughs> change animation sequence and this one's 4 so that's right hall and you've got to keep doing this for all of them, all of your cameras, everything like that. Make sure it's on the right animation sequence in the right order of the cameras. Because then it will make buttons a lot easier to control and make things make more sense to you and anyone who wants to look at your code so they can understand. And this one is the whole corner. And then obviously we have the kitchen right here. What the hell is going on outside? Okay, I sound like a bus, but I'm not even in somewhere a bus should be. I, I don't even know. <sighs> the sounds outside are so distracting. <laughs> uh, I would close my window, but I'm probably just going to end up like melting if I do. So, obviously here, we don't want the parts room, because parts room is next. And then finally, we have the final animation, which is the um, animation sequence where are you? I saw his bathroom, there we go so parts room and bathroom I believe so is that right? yes it is wait a minute, I messed something up nope that was a fail right so parts room is supposed to be before the kitchen for some reason put the kitchen there for now even though that doesn't have a kitchen put the parts room up there, there we go. yep okay and then drag the kitchen there Alright, there we go, they're in the right order now, we can delete that, ah, oh, my head, so itchy, ah, <laughs> uh, this is what I hate about everything, right, anyway, um, so we've got that up, and now all we need to do is set up the buttons, and also add a simple few arguments into some of the controls, and that will be the door buttons, which might be here, um, no, it's not that. It is light left. So we've got to add some arguments to this as well. So they'll only work if the camera's down and all that sort of stuff. So that actually means we're going to have to add something new 
to the game controller. So we go back here to the thingy, and we're going to say cam on, and then put a question mark. Okay, never mind, it doesn't like question marks. Let's just say cam on. I don't know why it doesn't seem to think it doesn't like the cam on thing, but actually no, why am I doing cam on? We've got show cam right here. That's that's I'm so dumb. Uh Right, anyway, let's just get into working the camera. So we're gonna go down to selection, right click on new condition, and this is where we go to where are you? Uh, ah, 1A. So we want 1A. Um, and we want... No, no we, no, no, we don't. We want to go to this mouse and keyboard. Keyboard... No, mouse. User clicks on an object. And we just want to leave this the same because it's not really going to change. And 1A. There you go. And you just drag that down. 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, um... 3, 4A, 4B, 5, 6, and 7. There you go. Now obviously this hasn't changed, they're all still 1A. So you double click on this picture here, change it to 1B, and then you have 1B. So 1A, 1B. And then you obviously change this to 1C, which is here. And then we go down to 1A. My computer made that noise, okay. Um, after 1C we find 2A which is here, for some reason they're splitting up, no idea why. Obviously double click on the picture again, 2B. Um, now your stuff may be in different places but you want to make sure the buttons are all the same, They want you want them to have the same kind of thing and it would be a good idea to name them so you can tell the difference between each one which is what I did. Um, so, and I believe I showed it to you as well, so yes. That is a good tip to always do, make sure you always name your objects, otherwise you could get confused in the future not knowing what to do with each object. So we go to 4A, and we're there, so we go here. Now sometimes it can get confusing, you just have to look through, see which ones have 1A or the original thing, and it should be a lot easier for you, um, so you can find all your stuff. So 5. Uh, that is, okay, so this is 6, right here, and then this is 7, which is here, there you go, so you got 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 3, 4A, 4B, 5, 6, 7, done, and now we can actually add in what it's supposed to do, which we go to the camera controller, and when we're on 1A, we want to go to, um, when we click on that button, what we want it to do is go underneath the camera controller, multiple values, set, and we want to go to camera control, set to zero. And we just drag this down all the way, and then we'll begin to edit this as we go through, that didn't drag down. So pretty much all of these are going to have their things. Right, okay, so now with, um, so on this one, which is the second row, right click, edit, change this from 0 to 1, then you have 0, 1, and then obviously you just do this all the way through, just right click, click edit at the bottom, change it to the next number until you get to 10, where or the, ma the highest number that you have cameras. Because you can have as many cameras as you want, it probably will get laggy, I'm not sure. It really depends. Did I pre did I type 10? Yes, I did. I was thinking about 10 and rip 10. Wow. Uh, that, that's supposed to be 3. Hmm. I'm, I'm so... I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Right, so we just got to change all of these to the correct numbers. This is 5. Now obviously you don't have to have as many cameras as I have because I've literally got this exact same amount as FNAF has, which is uh, not a lot, but well it is, it's 11 cameras, but you can still have more if you want, you can have like, tw like 
thousands of cameras, as many as you can fit on the screen pretty much. And there's multiple ways you can actually do stuff with the cameras. Now I believe this is seven. Yes, I'm right. Okay, so pretty much everything's simple on here. You just got to... Oh, what did I do? Okay, um, edit. Alright, so pretty much you just go through typing all the different digits until you finally get to the last one. Type 10 and you're done. That's literally all you have to do. And this was literally like nothing. It's been 30 minutes of the video, but we still have not finished. No, we have to go through and add a few things to some of the thing, uh, some of the code. So obviously, um, uh, so this this is actually pretty simple. All we want to do is just make sure that this button doesn't work. So obviously, what we did was we had user clicks on left. Uh, li with left button on the red cube which is left door and then you'd have all of these bits of code down here now all of these bits of code we can just ignore we don't need to uh, pay attention to them this video because we've already done that those are finished you don't have to touch them at all this however what we need to do is right click and we go insert so this adds something with this so it's kind of like user clicks on button only if this is on. So pretty much we go to game controller, multiple values, compared to one of the multiple values, and this it has to be show cam is equal to, to zero. So it will only work if show cam is equal to zero. And we can do the same thing here by simply just dragging show cam equals to zero onto 17 and it will appear down here. And this is pretty much an or statement, uh, an if statement. So if the user clicks on this and the well actually no this is like an and statement this is the if statement so if user does this and this applies to this then it will work that's pretty much the gist of it um, now we go to lights and left and then we can drag this down onto here onto the number 28 because otherwise it won't work it will just do, it will replace this so you want to make sure you drag it onto the number 28, not onto this, otherwise it will replace it with that, I believe. If not, then I'm wrong, but who cares? <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people would care if I got something wrong, it's not a good idea. So 35. So pretty much you just go through with all the buttons that apply to um, this. It will only work if it's equal to zero. Now we can close these, because we've done these now, we don't need them, they're just going to lag everything, because it does generally do that with my computer. So it's a lot less laggy, it still is laggy, but a bit less. Now obviously that's all done. So what we then want to do is, um, up here, so this, this is also simple, you just on here, click on it, right click, insert, game controller, alterable values, compared to one of the alterable values, and we want this to be show cam is equal to 1. So this will only work if it's equal to 1. So anything else it won't work. So if the cameras change to like over 1 it won't work, below 1 which is 0 basically won't work. Same with the other one before with the door buttons, the door button won't work unless it's equal to zero. So if it's anything above the zero, won't work. It just won't work at all. Just die, pretty much do nothing. So all we have to do is just drag this down onto each number just so it works. So drag it to 86, drag it to 87, drag it to 88, and do not drag it into the long box, drag it into the small box on the side of the number. Just uh, another reminder. Because I love my reminders because I want to explain this as good as I possibly can. That didn't work. There you go. So that's literally all we have to do. It's simple as that. Now we can close this. We can go up here, close the camera control, close the selection. You're done with that. All we need to finish off now is the camera movement. How, how are we supposed to make it so when the camera, we get into the camera, it only goes side to side without us controlling it. We don't want it to be like, hey, we can control how the camera looks, oh my god, it's super fast and all that sort of stuff. We want it to be the camera 
makes it makes you see what the camera wants you to see. We want it to be so that the camera allows you to be more scared because you have no control over what you can see. You won't be able to see if something's in the corner of the screen, you won't be able to see stuff like that. And that is a pretty good idea for horror stuff. So Scott doing that was actually a really good idea because it meant if he wanted to, he could hide stuff in the corner of the screen without people noticing when they're on the opposite side because of the camera. So pretty much, say there was something in the corner of the screen here, and your camera was over here. What would then happen is you wouldn't be able to see that thing in the corner of the screen, and it would slowly go across, and there is a chance that that thing here could disappear in the time that it takes your camera to get there. So you never know. Obviously it's not too slow, but it's still slow enough. Now, obviously, the way to do this is what we need to do is we need to create a new object in here because this is going to be the last camera tutorial we do that isn't to do with adding static, adding animation, and stuff. That stuff isn't important at the moment. We don't want that. We don't want. We we don't really care about that at the moment. That's not important. Accessories can come last. I mean, yes, we have got the doors and everything, but we want that there because. Otherwise, we'll be able to see the creatures behind that. We don't want to see them. We just want to see the door in the way and that stuff. We don't want to see anything else. We don't want to see the door open at all. So, yeah, that's why that's there. But the camera, we don't care about. It doesn't need the animation. doesn't need the static. It's not really important. That is just a little aesthetic to add to the horror element, which is pretty much the gist of this. So, the same with the camera, it, the movement is kind of an accessory, but we need it because the camera has that as a default thing. We don't want it to be, hey, you have to, while we're testing this, we control it with the mouse. We want it to be, hey, we want to see what the player is going to see it with the camera movement, feel how they feel, and all that sort of stuff. But the animations, everything like that, that can come last because that's not important. Um, so pretty much what we want to do then, because obviously testing standards, um, all we need are the important things. So we want to insert a new object, go to active, and we want this to be on... Yeah, just click it down, um, obviously we want it to be on this layer, on layer 1, we want to drag it here. So now it's on layer 1, we can just put it here. Oh my. Uh, this is what happens when it's somewhere. Now, the pretty, it's pretty simple on how to do this. The camera movement is pretty good. But first things first, so we can differentiate this from the rest of the things, we're going to change its color. So I think we can go with a nice orange, maybe? Have I got another orange on here? Yes, I do. OK, we'll go with a red instead, because um, we don't have a red. There you go. So we've got green, orange, red. Uh, this was... What was this one? This is the bouncing ball, so this actually controls the movement in the office. This is just your mouse, pretty much, but that still controls the movement in the office. We don't care about that. This is obviously to do with something else. Now, this is the moving in... Is it moving in eight directions or bound? Path, that's it, there we go, path. So what we want to do is we want to drag this all the way over here to this corner. Uh, we're also going to hide this so we have the ability to see our little friend over here. So we we've got this, we've selected this type as a path. So you do that by clicking on our little camera object and clicking on the little running man. Then we want to go to edit movement. This allows us to have a path. So we can move from this end of the screen all the way to the other end of the screen. Now obviously we don't want to move completely to this end of the screen. So we just go click cancel and move it to about here. Then we'll click edit path. Oh my nose. Um, and then we want... what we you? Uh, no that's not it. New line. So pretty much there's just a black line here and we've managed to mess it up already. Oh, It's down here. Let me go down. There we go. We want it to be in as straight a line as possible. 
Alright, so the, oh. this flashy light over here is what we want. There we go. And then we want to reverse at the end and loop the movement. There you go, that's pretty much it. Now we click OK and we're going to see what this looks like in game. I know the video is getting long but we need to finish this now and there's no point in doing a simple episode on just adding one simple thing. Because we want to finish the camera so we can get into the monster move, uh, the character movement which will be pretty cool and fun and everything like that. I'm probably going to get into doing mini games at some point as well because I think that would be a good idea but that will be after we finish the base game. So adding mini games and stuff will be kind of a side effect. Now I'm wondering when this is actually going to respond. Oh, there we go. Always click burns before you do something otherwise you're most likely to fall asleep because I'm tired. I stayed up till 3 last night because I was busy trying to complete something for Saturday but I still haven't finished it so I need to try and complete it after this as well. Uh, it's just something I, I wanted to do a mod development series and show people this mod I'm developing and I'm still doing some stuff. No it's not a fun enough mod, it's a Minecraft mod. Uh, why is this still not loading? What have I clicked on? What is wrong with you? Uh, there's not. Oh, that's. Alright, let me open this again. Yes, you saw my desktop. That's what it looks like. It's my dog. Well, um, my old dog. Because obviously, well, she died. She was one. Not a very good age, but no, it wasn't because we were bad at looking after her, it's because uh, she ate too quickly and she ended up getting uh, in, uh, her intestines twisted and they exploded. So, yes, not very nice. But we have a new dog. Ah, see, there we go. Way too quick though, but you can see it still moves across back and forth. So yeah, we've got that working. Now obviously what we need to do is we obviously need to stay on this, edit, and we need to increase the speed. I could have clicked try movement, why didn't I do that? Um, what have I done? Automatic. There we go, now you can see the line better, that's what the line looks like. Um, Alright, so we need to obviously go over here, click on this, and we can change the speed. Um, where is it? Is it actually coming back or something? Because I, I can't seem to see it anywhere. I'm so confused. Um. Uh, did I break it? And then obviously we need to set this. Let's set this to 200 and see how the speed on that is. And obviously at the other end we also need 200. Okay, alright, let's see what you're like. Um, so we're going to test this in the camera, at the actual game itself, because it's actually a lot easier to do, because we don't have to wait for, like, uh, we can actually see it come back and forth and back and forth. Ah, that's what it's, I've increased the speed, that's what it does. Okay, so the, this is completely wrong what I've done. You want to make sure that it's not... 50, it's like 10, click OK, I accidentally messed that up, what well on me, 10, and other end, we want to equal 10, click OK, now let's see what that's like, so it should hopefully not be like, <laughs> 
like because I'm like my webcam is so laggy, it's literally generally showing what I saw right there. I think that's actually okay. Yes, that's good. We, that is the speed we want. Do 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 do. So I believe that is how quickly the normal camera moves. Now actually no, I think it would be a bit good. Uh, a bit good. Yeah, that's brilliant English right there. Right, it would be a good idea if we went ahead and increased the speed to 20. And then we went to the other side, clicked on him, and set him to 20, and click OK. Now, I'm not sure if that actually did anything. I'm hoping it did. But this, is, at the moment, is just playing around with checking out it, what speed we want it. So you can have it whatever speed you want. If you want the camera to be slow, like at 10, then you can do that. Yeah, there we go. That's the brilliant speed we want. That's the speed we need for the camera. So, as you can see, obviously, when we're in the game, just like the, the things that actually help us move the camera like this, that's not going to be there. So, obviously, you can see our camera works here. It doesn't make any sounds when we change it, but that's the light. And, yeah, that's pretty much everything in this. And, obviously, pressing C. Obviously, also, if we're doing this, we won't press any of the map buttons, and when we're in here, we're perfectly fine. We can press all the buttons. Nothing happens. Doesn't change anything. I think the reason why it's occasionally stopping is due to lag, but it will be constantly flashing otherwise. The like you can see the camera's even going. Uh, that thing's even going slow. So it's probably because there's a lot of moving objects on the screen. But who cares? Right. Um. So what we want to do here is at the start at always um we're also gonna in wait what are you? Ah that's the uh buzz. So always uh that set exposition uh look at stop start Alright, uh so we're gonna go to always insert um, wait, no. What one allows us to move? Ah, yeah, that one. So it would be that one. So we want to go insert and go to game controller, alterable values, compare to one of the alterable values, um, show cam is equal to zero, and also what we want to do is game control is it no it's not camera control um it was in show so when show cam is equal to zero what we also want to do is go to here where we've got the red thing uh stop we want to drag down to show uh no not so we want to delete that so when it's on show cam one we want to stop the movement Greater than show cam, um, show cam is equal to one. Also stop because we don't want it to move everywhere and be annoying. Um, and pretty much, yeah, that 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 would be annoying if we're just there and we're just like, eh. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do that. And then also, all we want to do is when show cam um, always. So we're going to pr pretty much clone this. No, that failed. Um, copy, paste, there you go. Always when show cam is equal to 1, we want to go ahead and delete this and delete this. And then we want to go over to where our main camera object here for the camera thing. So, right here, we're going to right click and we're going to go to. Actually, no, that was a complete fail. We go back and it's over here so right click on this edit we want to change the object from this guy over to this 
this guy. There we go. That works. All right, and then we click. Uh, for some reason, it's off screen. Click. Okay. And then that'll literally. That's literally just going to do that. Now, obviously, when this is equal to zero, what we then want to do is um, actually we're just going to go all the way over here underneath this when it's equal to zero right click movement stop we don't want it to move when it's not equal to this but we do want it to move when the animation is equal to one but we don't want it to move when it's equal to that so pretty much no camera movement when the camera's going down and also another thing we have to do is make it so that um, so that should be that and then also stop start um, that one we want it to God's sake, go down no that's wrong control z that All right okay that's what happens if you don't drag it to the number there we go and then same down here there we go that's literally all it has to do there we go now we've got all of that in so you gotta make sure you do this and also add the stop arguments right here when it, on the show camera bit down here and you also want to make sure that you have stop here start here stop here why did I click start animation it's not supposed to be start animation right click um, movement start there we go. That's better. Let's try and make sure that that is movement. Yep, there we go. That's done. So, that's pretty much all we had to do this episode. So, obviously, one thing, one final thing we're going to do is we obviously want to click on this, go to. Um, is it run? No, it's not you. It is here in the display options. Click on visible at start, and that goes away. That's pretty much all you have to do. And if we test that, that should hopefully work correctly. If not, then I've done something wrong, and I'm not going to be happy. Oh, because uh, I have not tested this in a while. Right, okay, that works. Oh, there we go. It's moving by itself, and we cannot do anything. We're not controlling the camera. For some reason, though, it seems to want to start, then stop, then start, then stop. There we go. Works perfectly fine. So, yeah. That's pretty much all we have to do for this episode. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys actually learned something from this, and I'm hoping everything you have been doing so far has been going well. Let me know down below how your projects and everything have been going, because I would love to know. And also, let me know if you have any questions or queries down below, and I will probably set up an email and show it on the screen just for you guys to send me any questions or queries that you may not want other people to know to me so uh, like as an email so pretty much I'm most likely probably gonna read it because I'm probably gonna hook it up to my phone which is on my bed and make make sure that I'll like if I see these things pop up then you got I'll be able to read your guys email and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna hook that email up with anything else because otherwise I'm just gonna have an e um, email filled with spam instead of just messages from you guys which is what I want whereas YouTube comments and stuff that will go to my YouTube email as normal which you guys aren't gonna know because I don't want you guys to know because that email is just full of spam and it would be a lot easier if you guys went and emailed me a blank email so no Skype nothing like that just emails comments or possibly if you feel like it go on Twitter and ask me if you I, I, then send me a video or something like that and possibly also make sure you if you're planning on sending me your code and stuff to look at don't do that in YouTube because I'll just put it as spam do it as an email and not as YouTube because otherwise all it will give me is spam and I won't be able to I won't ever know it's there because 
YouTube doesn't let you know if you have spam, that's something I have to say. So just make sure any emails that involve links or stuff like that you want to give me, send it to the email that is on the screen, and I will see you guys next time when we get into the character movement. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, and goodbye.